It's part three of the Morris Minor Traveller restoration here at Cambrian Classics Limited with Tim. And uh, he's been busy I, while, while we've been away. Um, chop, chop, really, quite literally. Yeah, it's been a, been a lot of metal work, really, um, to uh, the rusty areas that are underneath the, the wooden mm. frame. So when we came here last time, you'd still got the full rear panel here, including the wood yeah. still to remove. What was that like to get off? <laughs> a lot of rusty bolts, basically. Oh, dear. Uh, and quite a few of them... Um, sheared and I've got to deal with that but the main thing was was the condition of the rear panel underneath yeah, the woodwork not good um it's all swiss cheese there's nothing left of the ends in a lot of places uh, so there's no no chance of repairing that yeah really. just for comparison this, this is the replacement yeah panel. that's the repair panel um, so um we're talking that sort of yeah you can see how much is missing from the ends yeah exactly this is all just a feathered end I mean I've I've chopped that to get it out but it's um it's quite a substantial piece. It's yeah. like, a, like a reinforcement is... beam in the, in the middle. You can get these repair panels and cut out as much as you want to use to do your repair. Uh, so, so that goes all the way up here into the boot floor. Is the plan yeah. to replace all of that, or just try and use a slice of it? No, I mean, I, I won't replace. I won't replace any anything if it if it doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. um, the best thing to do is to cut out from a repair panel the the bit that you need, because this goes up all the way up to the fuel tank essentially mm -hmm. um, and has a spare wheel hole and but you'd end up cutting out the bumper reinforcement plates yeah. which aren't on the repair panel and I have to make those and, mm -hmm. but it doesn't it doesn't need it the car's solid there it's it's the it's the bottom edge that's yeah. that's yeah, caught it so still little crispy bits attached yeah i mean so thankfully you know this repair panel is made and you can get it otherwise you'd be spending a long time mm. making it up i mean repair panels do to save you time and they're, they're quite reasonable to, to be fair uh, what other rot has been discovered I can, I can see daylight through the inner wing over here yes this this whole corner um has caught it i mean it's being the back of the wheel arch on on, on the curb side it um tends to catch it uh, yeah the most it's it's gone through the arch at the back and where all this cross beam comes up underneath mm -hmm. it's it's all there's lots of lots of surfaces together and it's all just corroded through. Yeah, so. lots of places for moisture to just sit as well. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't help when there's moisture in the vehicle because it's got leaky windows and stuff as mm. well. But So, yes, at the moment, I'm sort of in the process of trying to separate all the layers in, in this corner and finding out where the good metal starts. And I'm going to have to cut, cut it back and mm -hmm. build the arch back up again before I can start doing the cross panel. Yeah, and some welding has already taken place. Yes, I've done both both sides um, where where the inner sill wasn't attached to the to the yeah, lower so, sill. So that just wasn't attached at all. No, it was completely separate. So I put in a an angle. Um, you can you can you can buy. Well, what I do is much cheaper, uh, much much quicker than than trying to beat bits of metal in a vice and things mm -hmm. like that. Is you can buy from your local factors, in our case E and M, uh, just lengths of folded uh -huh. steel in different thicknesses yeah. and, and different uh, profiles so you can just cut them in this case i used it inch by inch and mm -hmm. created the, the the missing piece then that went from there to there and just trimmed it down and it's much Beautiful. gives you a nice straight fold yeah and, and, now, not... and now it's stronger because it's actually attached yeah yes there's much more steel there mm. um, a little repair just on the b post Yes, there was holes in, in both B posts at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so both both sides have had the same treatment essentially. Lovely. Um, but that just, it just takes time doing yeah. repair like that. So still quite a lot of metal work to do. But mm. also, also you've started on the side panels dismantling those. So we've got this one now in kit form. Yes. Yep. Yeah, um, taking all the the panels out out of that. Um, started to try and clean some of the the black uh, uh, sealant off of it. Yeah. Um, so much of it, isn't it? There is, yeah. I mean, um, the it's, it's probably from when it was restored before that uh, there was a long time you couldn't get sort of that the right sealant that I talked about before right, that yeah, was sort yeah. of pre-rolled. Um, so they would just would use the mastic gun and therefore just slap it all in. It's yeah. it's it's, it's, it, it's expanded out and made a bit of a mess. I, have, I tried to, to clean it off because mm -hmm. the the inner panels um, not in too bad a condition. I think they would probably polish up, but the black goo is so baked on there, it's mm -hmm. actually gonna be quicker for me to strip them back to bare metal and repaint them than it is to chip all the black off and then polish them up. Yeah, I guess that's no bad thing because they're aluminium, aren't they? <clears throat> yes. But the, the rear wing itself is steel. Yes, it is, it yeah. It looks like it's gonna need some repairs here and there. Yes, it's had a repair before, um, a patch repair really. Oh yeah. And it's, um, 
it's not been sealed around the back. So as as a result, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's blown back out again. Yeah. So I have to cut that out and put a piece in. Uh, there's a bit of filler there that's broken off as well. So the, the wings, both sides could do, do with going back to bare metal and being repainted anyway. Mm. There have been some more parts arrivals as well. I know, I know at one point you were hoping to try and um, keep these mm. older parts, but um, yeah, there's an awful lot of uh, damage going on. Yeah, that's right. The um, customer had opted for replacing these rear panels and then seeing what we can do for reviving the, the forward panels with the armrests. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a much the, larger. The, these part, panels are they're a relatively good match. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and um, you know they're they're not too expensive these rear ones because they're quite small. Mm -hmm. So decision was made to to buy some new ones. Um, mm -hmm. Same with the boot. The boot flooring is the original. Um, wow. It has like this aluminium st the strips over the top. Yeah. Um, again, it's, pre it's pretty gross. Um, it's had a long life and it's uh, oh gosh it's yeah. damaged in a few places apart quite badly so yeah. got a new booth floor set for that which will really make it um look a lot fresher mm -hmm. uh, and we'll straighten the strips and uh, give them a bit of a, a brighten up you can see the original color so you may be thinking these are two different colors but yes actually, actually probably not no no the the it's the show as you say it's quite showing looking underneath yeah after a few days away, we're back to see what progress has been made. Uh, mostly holes seem to be actual metal now. Yes, the so including um, the, this rear panel. Yeah, the welding's been finished uh, and painted over and things like that. The the new rear panel now joins joins along here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of layers of rotten grossness to remove from both sides wheel on of the wheel arches. Um, this side was kind of a bit higher up into the arch and this side was actually into the multiple layers in the corner. So presumably you've had to get these brackets off. Uh, I managed to do it by leaving the big brackets still there, cutting around them okay. to try and keep some of the shape and rigidity. Because if you if you completely cut everything out and then you, you yeah, try and you weld it, where anything goes. it's yeah. all gonna be out. So, And that'll be the, the proof when we offer the wood up and, mm -hmm. um, and see see how straight it all looks which is the plan today but yeah all, yeah. all the repairs down here that we saw before all now in body color uh, all looking yeah and much, the, the much pillars better. have uh, had a fresh coat of paint as well Excellent. Um, so it's uh, all tidy then for the new wood to be put on top righty ho right then uh yeah we'll offer up the side panel mm -hmm. put a couple of screws into the pillar um and then we can start building it up from from there if you want to grab the bottom yeah, down that corner. Okay, the paint's quite fresh, so be gentle with it. Yeah, this isn't nerve wracking at all. <laughs> okay, you are. It'll. It should sit and rest on the. Yeah, there we go. We're on. <clears throat> okay, Put some screws in it. Let's try. <laughs> You're trying to find the, the floating captive nuts. That's got it. They're not actually, um, you know, welded on. They, mm -hmm. they, they're in like a little floating cage, so. Now, an interesting thing to note is uh, this is a standard kit you can get from quite a few different suppliers of Morris Minor Parts. Actually handcrafted here in uh, Wales. So it's locally produced. You just lift up this corner a little bit. Yep. Just like a timber jigsaw at this point. That's it. That lines up with the back of the panel, okay. That's mm -hmm. the other thing when you, you know, f fitting such a critical piece as the back panel is you get it off slightly too much one way or the other, then, you know, nothing's going to fit. And yeah. You're going to start again because, or, or make changes to the woodwork, which you really don't want to do. Mm. Um, it's much better just to build it in its correct form. So uh, if we try- Yeah, which is a bit different to how they did it in the factory. In the factory, they, they built it all on jigs off the car and then offered them up. Yeah. You can feel it's so much heavier than the wood that came off because so much <laughs> of it had rotted away. There's a lot more of it, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. that's it. We'll shortly go through all the various procedures that have happened to this wood. Uh, since purchase because there's an awful lot you can do to actually protect it. So we'll run through all those items very shortly. Yeah, it's springing out there a little bit. Just grab a clamp. 
it will be screwed all the way along the arch, and, mm -hmm. but there's a little bit of flex in it. So if I just give it, just help it, just for our alignment purposes quickly, just to uh, hold it there for the minute. Mm -hmm. But otherwise you've got to put a lot of screws in, haven't you? Because you've just got whole, 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 whole all the way around this arch. Yes, both sides. It's, um, it's a lot of screws to take take, take them apart. And uh, yeah. obviously then that's what gives it a strength and structure then. Mm -hmm. the hundreds of screws. To give it the, make it square, mm -hmm. that's got to sit in the groove there. Right, just if you put your hand behind it, it's a little bit tight. There. It will obviously have lots of screws and brackets to yeah. hold it in, but just for our purposes for the minute, and if we get a bit of rope, we'll just pull the top. Because we, we want to check our um, shut lines of the doors and, and mm -hmm. the aperture's square. If we go around the other side. Yeah, so we need this to be as tight as it's going to be. Yeah, exactly. If I just loop it under, that's it. Yeah, you don't really want to start putting screws in until you're sure it's definitely no right you've got to get it there. exactly and you need to, it needs to be square and because once you start it becomes a rigid structure so mm -hmm. um exactly make sure the corners are in and that the corners are central okay. and then we get a door i've been framed <laughs> Had to be said at some point. Right, your one goes in first. Mm -hmm. I have to find a, a packing piece as well to to lift it up a bit. Yeah. Um, Is that enough room for you? Yeah. Not too bad. If we get something to put underneath it to elevate it. Mm -hmm. That's to replicate the um, gaps that are obviously there once it's finally attached with hinges. Yes, exactly. bit of boot trim you know see because you've got quite a lot of a movement in it depending mm. on where you screw everything and how you screw the corner bracket yeah. so but there is a gap all the way around and it's it is even okay it's, it's a little bit lower because i've got it wedged enough at the bottom but you know it's straight and they go in you know i can plane anything off there's there is room there to uh, wiggle that around when we come to fit mm -hmm. super yeah, with the... It's amazing how quickly it looks like a car again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's um, fitting all the stuff inside the, the side panels and I've got all the alloy panels to paint mm -hmm. uh, and the wings um, ah, as yes. well. Ah, yes. Talking of wings, we do have an issue with one wing, don't we? We do. One wing has been changed before and mm -hmm. one is a, a replacement. This one down here is a replacement one isn't in really good condition aside from one's dent here mm -hmm. which can which can be panel beaten back out again yeah um but this this one's had a repair before we, we i think we spotted it when we took it off <laughs> yeah that um it's had a a patch in the back a bit oversized hasn't been let in and with, with a lack of sealer around the edge um it's 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 it had rusted through again um but in the process of this repair, it was done a bit hot and a bit fast. And the upshot of it is it's distorted the panel. As you run your hand over it, um, you can feel it's, it's oh, all yeah. wavy. It's not as oh, you yeah. can see with the camera. Very much there. Yeah. yeah. And there's also a high point here from which it all drops away. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's got a kink in the but middle of the really panel. There's really bad pitting on it as well. There's a lot of the rust around the arch. Yeah. So they're made by Heritage on, on the old presses and things like mm -hmm. that. They're a relatively good fit for you know, the replacement cost of the £250 a wing. Yeah, a given how much effort it would take to try yeah, and get that there'd nice be a lot again. of labour to yeah. make this one fit good. Um, mm. and, and and as one's already been replaced anyway, there's not such yeah. pressure on originality. It'll, it'll last longer because this has got quite a bit of rust in it, especially mm. in, the, in, the in the traps around the top. Yes, you could repair it, you could restore this one and, and fill it and spend quite a bit of time doing that. But in the end, this will rust out a lot quicker than the replacements, yeah. which are heritage ones and they're, they are pretty precise so good good um, and we've also got the goodies that have been used to preserve the wood here as yeah well. so what um 
uh, the owner did all the, the wood preparation before it was bought here. Uh, so first, the first stage was a preserver, sort of soaks into the wood and, mm -hmm. uh, and protects it from I think, fungus and things like that. Um, and then this is more the, the two stages of uh, staining and waterproofing. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, for, 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 each, for each piece, there's three stages, and I think it was, it was two coats of each one. Mm -hmm. So every panel has been painted six times. Gosh. Every square, every, in every runner, in every corner, you know. So yeah, before it's even been anywhere near the car. Before it's been anywhere yeah. near me or the car, um, it's because it comes as bare ash, completely mm. bare when, when, when they're made. Right. So the, him spending the time doing all that before he came here will give the car the best chance possible for mm. it to be another 30 years. Even yeah, yeah. Longer. and the, the finish is, I mean, it's a little bit dusty because there's been paint going on, but it's just a lovely finish. Lovely feeling. Yeah, when it. it when it's yes, because I've been cleaning all the filler and stuff off this wing, it's a little dusty, but uh, um, it is. A, it's a lovely, rich colour, and um, hopefully, it'll stay looking like that for a long time as well. Right. Well, what's the next part? For me, the next part is is doing more painting of, of panels mm -hmm. um, and things like that. Once the aluminium panels are, are painted, they can be screwed into the frames, and they can be and the frames can then be screwed on properly. So it's it's coming along. Yeah, um, getting closer. Yeah, and once once that are in, then once the sides are up, you can then put the glasses in and the roof capping back on, put the headlining in, seats back in and away you go. Yeah. Sounds quick and easy, but... Yeah, sounds simple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that will all be coming in a future episode. So that's where we're at at the moment. Trial fit seems to be going well. It um, looks good. Uh, we've talked about what, what you need to do to preserve it and you, you definitely want to be doing it before it's on the car. But by the time it's on the car, you're not going to be able to get at most of the key areas. Especially no. spots down here where you're going to be getting it, moisture. Exactly, it, up it needs to be it. around every side of every square. Yeah, because water can get behind the panels. It can. It sits especially where where they rot and where this one went before is in the window channeling mm -hmm. um, because it's it's a natural U and and there's an inner capping that goes here. So there's the window runners rubbers are here. And that's where there's all these holes. Yeah, to let try, the water drain let out, the out and they drain out underneath. Um, originally, they they suffered from these. If these block up, then you know the water sits in the channel, the yeah. wood rots out, and that's where they start. So that's a, a very important piece to try and get into and down those holes and get as much in those drain holes as possible. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. So yeah, Jane, you're in progress. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We will come back uh, w when the next stage is ready. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. This no has problem. been very interesting. Uh, don't forget you can head to the Hubnut store if you wish to support what we do here, or there are support options in the description below. Otherwise. We shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Bye. Wood. Wood. <laughs>